Okay, so now what we got, we've completed our boil for about 15 minutes and now we're gonna, we need to cool this liquid off. So we're going to drop it into a sink full of cold, cold water and we're going to begin to stir it as we kind of rotate it around the sink. Now this will also work in your bathtub. You can fill the sink with, you know, half ice, half water, really get it cool. And you're going to continue doing this and you can use your thermometer to continually check the temperature. So this just came out of the boil and it was at 212. So a little bit of stirring and stuff already, we're down to about 170 degrees already in just a matter of 20 seconds in the water. So, you know, it's to your advantage to have a wider pan or pot like this with a wider opening and to continue to stir it. Of course, you make sure the spoon was in the water while you were boiling your wort. That way it's instantly sanitized. Otherwise, you can also soak it in the same solution you have your yeast and scissors soaking in. And the same goes with the, therm the uh, thermometer. Now, I'm only sticking the end of this probe in here because this end of this is not sanitized. So I just set it on the counter face up like this, and there's no risk of infection with that. So I'm going to continue to do this for the next few minutes. And our goal with this is to get the temperature of the yeast, I'm sorry, of the water down to approximately 70 degrees is what we're shooting for. Now you can accelerate this process by filling the sink with ice water, um, you know, throw some ice cubes in there, not into the wort, but into the sink. Uh, you know, you can use your bathtub, whatever. Uh, but it's such a small scale, it doesn't really necessitate the use of what they call a wort chiller, where you run cold water through coils to cool this. Uh, this just takes a little bit of stirring, a little bit of time. And this has just only been maybe a minute or two and so the boiling is 212 degrees and let's see what we've got it down to. Okay, We're already down to about 120 degrees which is great, it's really moving quickly. So we're going to continue to do this until we get our wort here down to approximately 65-70 degrees. It's kind of dependent on the type of yeast you're using but for most ales you really want to get it cooled down to about 65, 70 degrees before you throw the yeast in there. Any hotter than that, the yeast um, really doesn't like it unless it's a Belgian yeast or a special yeast. It's just a little bit too warm and while the yeast might propagate, uh, it's just going to produce too many flavors that you really don't want, especially fruity esters that certainly aren't desirable in a lot of different uh, styles of beer. So we're going to continue to cool this and We'll check back in when I got this cooled down to about 70 degrees. Okay, so while our wort is cooling, we want to go ahead and prepare our flask here, our Erlenmeyer flask, for our fermentation. And we need to sanitize it. So we're going to fill it up just about all the way, and we're going to drop a little bit more of our sanitizing solution in here. And for this volume, just a splash will do. Add a little bit more water to mix it up. And this solution foams, so that's okay. Let it foam over. You want it to go ahead and sanitize the sides as well. Now what we're going to do to enclose this is we're going to use a piece of aluminum foil. So I'm going to take a piece of aluminum foil. I'm going to go ahead and soak it in sanitizing solution just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put it with uh, the yeast and the scissors that we already have soaking. 